You already know what time it is. Frenzy Broadcasting. It's your man, Fatal. We locked the Lotus After Party Radio Show. We got a special guest in the building today. Hannah Mons in the building. Hey, what's poppin'? What's I like that poppin'? vibe that she was playing. Yeah, you know, I felt like, yeah, it matched my shoes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're yeah, pretty snazzy. I was, trying, I was trying to go with that, you know, spazzy vibe today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're super snazzy. Thank you. That's my vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm, oh, yeah, is that your vibe too? Yeah, I like, I like a good snazz. <laughs> you like, oh, your jacket's pretty snazzy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get a round yeah. of applause for that jacket over there. <laughs> Thank Something you. out of Michael Jackson's closet or something. It's funny. I was, when I got in the, uh, me and Yanni rode together. He was like, kind of look like Janet Jackson. I was okay. like, oh, okay. Thanks. All right. <laughs> so you ever got that before? You look like Janet Jackson. Yeah, I, I do. I get. You know, I think it's a good thing. I get. Who's it. your number one person you get mistaken for? Um, I don't really get. I don't, I wouldn't say that anybody like. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Says I, I look get, like anybody. People say I look like Armenian sometimes, and the next day I look white, and then and then I look Egyptian. Now I look like John B. And I'm like, okay. I just, you know, I <laughs> no, like, nationality, yeah. yeah. Some people, I don't, and I don't know my dad, so I really don't oh, even okay. know my other side. But I get Dominican, I get Armenian. Really? Get, mm -hmm. You don't look Armenian than me. Shoot. Who said but, that? Yes, I was at the casino actually the other day, and I oh. had and I, I had a mask on. Oh, okay. And it was, it was just my eyes because you know this virus going around. So yeah, the Corona a, ain't no. We just talked about. And that. he just saw my eyes and my eyebrows. He said, "Are you Armenian?" I was like, "No." Like, no <laughs> fool, I'm not. But so, by my music. Right. Right. Yeah. So Hannah, so how long have you been doing what you do for the world that doesn't know who you already are? Let them know with an introduction. Well, um, professionally, I've been doing music for like three and a half years now, but I've been chasing this dream for a while. I've been wanting to do music my whole life. I went to um, college. I was a recording industry major at first, and then I ended up switching my major, but I've always been into music. I moved out here when I was, um, I, right after I graduated, it was like t 2017, and I've just been doing it ever since. Where'd you move here from? Nashville. Tennessee, huh? Mm -hmm. Tennessee in the building. Mm -hmm. Got a couple homies out there. That's what's up. So what got you into the pop music? Because there's a lot of country out there in Tennessee, right? You know, country, is, I have a love-hate just because that's just where I'm from. So you hear it a lot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's necessarily my, you okay. know, what you I go to. But I love it. You, and you know, no growing up, Shania Twain. You white t-shirt or nothing like that? What is it? You got no barbecue stains in your white t-shirt? No, 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 okay, never mind. No, what is they that? They don't more country songs <laughs> than you. So, no, no. Yeah, you I, do. I know about some of the old country songs. Yeah. Some countries are right. Well, growing up, I really loved Shania Twain. Yeah. You know who Shania yeah, Twain is? Of course. Yeah. Shout out to some good country out there. That's my girl. People don't even know. Some country music is more ratchet than rap music, man. There's some There's some, There's some. some country music out there. Yeah. That promotes crazy lifestyles. Like the rednecks? Yeah. Style. Yeah. It promotes yeah. a crazy lifestyle. Slapping their wife, get drugged, yeah. dipping cocaine. Yeah. yeah. I heard some country songs. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Just because it has a guitar on it and he got a twang in his voice. Right. He's saying the same thing some of these gangster rappers are talking about. Facts. I'm like, wow. Popping prescription drugs. I'm like, okay. Well, we all, you know, everybody goes through the same the same you stuff know? in different ways. And Hello. even artistry, you know, you, that's, that's their vibe and... We all mm -hmm. kind of relate in that yeah. way. But. Some people like NASCAR. Some people don't. Hello. <laughs> so, Hannah, what's up with this new music we got coming out right here? So, I actually, I just dropped a, a new song called Freaky Baby. I dropped that on Valentine's Day. It's, it's super... Who planned that marketing out? Sexy vibe, would you say? Who planned that marketing out? That was good marketing. Yeah. Valentine's Day, Freaky Baby? Oh, snap. You know what? It was a spur, just to be honest. It was a spur of the moment. Yeah. I was just like, you know what? I need to drop something for this vibe because, you know, Valentine's Day is all about the love, the sexiness. So, Freaky Baby, that's all, all, right, all well, that is. We passed Valentine's already, but we can keep the vibes going still. Oh, for sure. All day. 2020 oh, sure. vibes. You can get Go freaky whenever. Introduce your record right here. We'll drop it right here. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Hannah Mons, and this is my song, Freaky Baby. Oh, my God. Y'all out there, man. Better calm down. Don't blow up the Instagrams, all right? Let's get it. <laughs> After Party Radio Show. We back. It's the After Party Radio Show. That was another banger right there. Two in a row for your ass. Hey. Get ready for the frizzy. Yeah, yeah. Hannah. So what's the process to get to this point where you're at with your music? So you said you've been in music seriously a few years now. What about before that to get where you're at right now? What's the mission been like so far? You know, when right before I moved here, um, 
it was for me just wanting to be just an entrepreneur in general and just wanting to tackle all the things that I wanted to do and music has just always been something I've naturally been good at so um songwriting and directing and creating that's just something that's right up my alley so I was like when I moved here, I didn't know anybody. I didn't, I did not, I, I'm a self-starter. I think as an artist and someone who's independent too, you gotta be self-sufficient in everything that you do. So, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that I've been doing through the, going through, through this journey is just learning to be um, just hungry enough to wanna be, and be able to do everything on your own and get it done. Of course you need a team, but for me, I've just been able to um, work with some dope people and do things like, you know, direct my own video and write my own music and do all those things that, you know, I, I, I really didn't have any, any idea what it took to be an artist until you actually throw yourself into this business. And I don't know if you're from, did you say you're from California? Born and raised. Well, yeah, well, Hello. you're here, but coming here and just being around other artistic people and Word. people that do this, like it, it's just been able to help me learn and, you know. Just keep my head on straight. <laughs> okay, do you ever trans like plan on transitioning to perhaps into maybe acting or other things with with what you're doing right now? Oh yeah, for sure. I want to do acting. I had a talk show like uh, like a year ago, and oh, okay. I, it, it, I I love film and being behind the camera. So I my my path. I want my inspiration is like Janet Jackson, Beyonce, J Lo, Aaliyah, and I loved how they tapped into every aspect of their creativity. So it was just not just music, it was acting and hosting or whatever okay. the case may be. You know? So who knows, 2020, new music. 2020, I really want this to be my birthday year and I want people to, you know, I want to get that respect as an artist and I already have, you know, people that I have eyes on me and I have built a small fan base and I'm ready just to have a, this breakthrough moment and work did, with the people. Did you just recently like restart your Instagram or something? Because I, yeah. I think when I had finally like came across you, I think we have some mutual friends like J Baby and some other people. Mm -hmm. I think I seen you through, and I was like, okay, her page was like you already have the following and stuff, but it was like no content. So I figured maybe you ripped it all down. And exactly. So yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I did. So yeah. when I when I moved here, I was I put I was in a little bit of everything, acting and. Um, you know, film and like I said, talk show and whatnot. And in between that time, I was doing a lot of writing and working with different producers and whatnot. And um, that was just more like the grind season and that now it's time to really execute and put everything out. So I wanted to just start fresh so people can see the reason why I really came here, which was... And you're independent. Yeah. No, no label. No label at the moment. You know, but that, not turned off by labels. Still yeah, embracing what happened. Yeah, I'm, de I'm embracing on whatever is you know whatever God okay. gives me. You know, Amen. Mm -hmm. Talk about God. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Like more people need to spread that energy out here, in this, yeah. and especially in the industry. Mm -hmm. We need more of that. Has that been an issue for you having faith, like in this industry, with with what it takes to be act, you know, active and relevant? You know what? I can. That's a good question because. I, even as recently, just to be transparent, it's been so hard, like the pressure, the pressure of being an artistic person, whether it's doing radio or a violinist or a songwriter or art, art, like a, a singer, we go through the pressure of, you know, just wanting to be heard and um, be respected for what we do. So yes, it's it's been hard to keep that, um, I wouldn't say it's been hard to keep my faith in God, but it's been hard to keep the faith of is this going to work or is this going to is this going to happen for me you know i think we all go through that so it, the pressure it, it definitely can get to yeah you. i think unfortunately anyone that really knows the industry knows that the stuff that's the most negative gets the most marketing you know what i'm saying that whatever pushes back the culture and the kids and the youth in the most negative way mm. What do you mean, example? Like, for example, like if, if there's a song coming out about popping Molly to you sweating, guess what? It's going to be the most trending song right now. All these kids are going to be singing yeah. it. I'm in love with the cocoa. All these little four-year-old kids are singing it. Eating booty like groceries. <laughs> Janae Aiko. I was at a show one day at this dance con contest in a, in a Santa Ana, right? Mm -hmm. And there was like all these kids dancing. And all these parents were like up there like rooting on their kids and all that. And there was mm -hmm. these little girls out. And they came out to the Janae Aiko part where we eat the booty like groceries. And they kept looping that one part. And these little girls are out there dancing with like little like outfits on that would be cute if like uh -huh. maybe a young like legal girl would be wearing them, right? You'd be like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> but these little girls are out there wearing this. And it's like 
the parents are right there acting like there's nothing wrong with this. Obviously, they know about it, right? They're they're involved with mm-hmm. making this happen. And I'm just thinking to myself, damn, like, I wouldn't let my daughter go out there wearing that shit. I feel you. Especially at that age. Are like, you, are you like, more, you're, like, super, not traditional. No, nah, not traditional. Know, it's just, you know, There's like, just certain things. Because, you know, yeah, it, like it, there's a age. balance. Because even yeah. who I am as an artist, I promote being confident in your sexuality mm-hmm. and doing I mean, things like that. that. And, you know, younger girls, they may... You know, I, I even as a little girl, I looked up to Janet Jackson, who's one Word. of the most sexy, sexiest beings on this planet. Makes a noise for Janet. Uh, right? Janet looking good. She uh, aging like fine wine. Right? Hello, Janet. I see you. I agree. Sheesh. But I agree with you. I mean, I think, and as far as the music, there are things that come out that I feel like are just for the moment. Word. And I think people, especially with social media nowadays, what's out and what's in is what people were it's everyone's a bandwagon hopper you know and that's something i had to learn because i would i make music that i feel is somewhat different than as far as what's out at the moment and i i make music for feeling more than a moment and what's going on and that's another talking about faith just having faith in your own art is sometimes hard too but um no I, i i get what you're saying i feel you yeah facts message so, is there any artists out here that you want to work with? Anyone that you want to call into existence with words? Manifestation is real. If you did not already know, anything, for sure. Anyone out here you want to work with? My do- like, I want to collab with just a lot of some of my R and B favorites. Would be like Miguel. Dope. Frank Ocean would be dope too. Um, Talk your shit. Right. Make it happen. I would love. I, and you know what? I like to work with the OGs too. Like, I would love to work with. Believe it or not. Project Pat oh, and wow. like, that's like Paul Wall or Paul, something. Paul Wall, Paul Wall. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, okay. I want to work with you like that like, southern rap. Oh yeah, because I'm 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 a southern chick. Yeah, I'm yeah, from the south, and yeah. I love like that southern root. And women, okay. I would love to work with like Rihanna and Riri. Yeah, okay. so that's, that's all. Also, Meg, Meg, she's from Houston. Oh, yeah. She's another south south girl. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. So anyone that wants to get into this industry that probably doesn't know what route to take or how to get into it. Someone listening and maybe looking up to you right now, checking out your IG. Mm-hmm. What kind of feedback or energy would you give to them? Uh, just kind of like piggybacking off what I said uh, before about being self-sufficient and just, you know, not waiting on anybody um, when it comes to creating your or, or moving in, in, in putting things in motion. Like be self-sufficient. Learn how to edit your own videos. Learn how to... Um, Write, learn how to. I I I learned how to record myself, and engineer myself, nice. and I I if I if I felt like I couldn't afford something, like I was on Google and YouTube, like how do you do this? So oh, man. don't feel bad for being um like I said, self sufficient, and you can do it, and um don't depend on anybody, and but also remember that the people gaining relationships and having relationships for people to help you is also very important too. I always say it's not your flow, it's who you know. You feel me? You gotta mm-hmm. turn your contacts into contracts. Holler at a player one right. time, man. You know what I'm saying? We coming with some straight jewels for y'all. Y'all better be tuned in, man. I'm telling you, like, especially out here in this industry, your reputation is everything. You can't burn a lot of bridges. You know, this this industry is very small and saturated, but because it's so saturated, people don't understand. Like, if you if you screw over the wrong people, it's gonna get around to everyone else. And then when you start trying to make these moves, you realize you ain't gonna be able to get nowhere. That's you look, facts. And you be you know, looking like a douche canoe. It's, it's like, cra- what's wrong with my life? <laughs> that's that, you know. It's funny when I moved True. out here, everybody was like, "That's one of the main things." They were like, "Don't get lost in the sauce, facts. and don't you know burn any bridges." And I'm, I, I definitely fell on favorite, and God has protected me from so much bullshit. Can I cuss? Of course. Oh, fuck so, yeah! <laughs> so much bullshit, and I'm so grateful for that. And a part of it is because I keep myself cooped up. I'm kind of like. I'm I'm social, but I'm I'm very isolated. You're a homebody. Yeah, I'm a homebody. So you rather not go to the club if you don't have to. I don't go to the club if no. I don't have to. I mean, Netflix my birthday is coming up, so I may, but we'll see. Okay. I'm more of like I like to plot. I'm at home plotting a lot and making stuff and cooking and hanging out. I like friends come over. We'll just chill, okay. smoke a little. Oh, okay. Drink a little wine. Oh, and, hello. You know, stuff like that. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to really not go out anymore because it's that coronavirus shit going on right now. Yeah. I'm, as serious, soon as I man. leave here, I love you guys, but I'm putting hand yeah, sanitizer. I, got, I might mm-hmm. give you some Purell for the road. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone needs if to have it. If you can find it, I, made, yeah, I, I made it my mission to make sure no one around me contracts the fucking coronavirus while I'm around. 
Like, I'm just walking up randomly slapping people in the face with, like, <laughs> fucking Purell and... Yeah. It's for real, man. No. They're canceling shows. Like, South by Southwest got canceled this year. Shut I don't know if, up. Yeah, it's the first year in all the years they've been existing. They're canceling Wait, South they, by Southwest. You know, they, do you believe that, you know, they said it's man-made? I want to know this. If it isn't man-made, how the hell do the Simpsons know everything, man? The like, Simpsons for, predict Oh, yeah. Simpsons predict everything, man. I also saw What's a picture on Instagram. It said every election year... They have uh, some crazy Epidemic virus. crazy. Yeah, like Ebola and all that. E. coli. <laughs> got her herpesyphilitis. All type of shit. <laughs> right. what's, the, what's the next one? I don't know. They don't come know. Some, like flesh-eating disease or some shit next, man. I don't know, man. Fine, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, man, this right. one was crazy, man. Invest in pure raw and Lysol wipes. People didn't believe me. I'm like, man, Corona cannot hang with the Lysol, man. I found a secret. I don't know how to make your own hand sanitizer. It is alcohol and aloe vera. I heard. Really? Is that what you do? Yeah, just get some alcohol and aloe vera. Wow. And put it in a bottle. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Yeah, of course. We'll drop the straight jewels for y'all today, man. Right? So, Hannah, where can the world follow you on social media? You can follow me on Instagram at Hannah Mons Official. My Twitter is Hannah Mons and Facebook, The Hannah Mons. All right. Any positive energy and feedback you want to give off to listeners before we get out of here? Of course. I want to send every my everybody my positive energy. I'm sending you positive spirits. Keep going. Um, you know, the devil may try to knock you down, but you got to get up. Don't fold under pressure. And, you know, keep keep tuning in to Fatal. Hey, <laughs> you already know. Get ready for the frenzy. Hannah Mons in the building. We appreciate you. Coming out your studio session to come rock with us today. Yeah, thank you. Check out her music, Freaky Baby, all the way 2020. Go Keeping ahead. Keeping me up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We getting this after party radio show. You already know what time it is.